Hello Art Beaters! Becky here for Artbeats.com and we have got a brand new video for you today. Today we're going to be taking a look at Czech glass cabochon beads and how to use them. These are two whole domed Czech glass beads uh, that look so cool in jewelry designs and I'm even going to show you how to make a really fun modern lace bracelet design that also incorporates gem duos, and two whole diamond beads. So let's take a look at how to use cabochon beads. Cabochon beads are two whole domed check glass beads. They're called cabochon beads because they mimic that traditional look of a cabochon, but cabochon beads, true to their name, also include stringing holes, whereas traditional cabochons do not have stringing holes. So you can really have fun playing with these in your bead weaving and stringing designs. They come in all kinds of beautiful colors, and most of our cabochon beads have a smooth domed surface, but you can find um, some variations on this, like the Rosetta cabochon beads. They feature a rose design carved into the surface, or the Baroque cabochon beads have this really cool textured look. Here are some examples for how you can use cabochon beads in your designs. This is a multi-strand stringing project that incorporates the cabochon beads along with three-hole beam beads and seed beads for that fun layered look. And this is a color variation on that design, so you can have a lot of fun with that uh, project. We do have a tutorial for it in our design studio along with everything you see here. They nest up really beautiful with two whole ginkgo beads so you can definitely weave with that shape and cabochon beads. They're really great for 3D beading. Uh, this necklace combines cabochon beads with the prong beads and um, this is a layered piece that makes this kind of orb or sea anemone look. Um, really cool, and we use two different colors for a reversible pattern. Um, they also look really good in fun stringing projects that also incorporate other elements such as chains. So this necklace includes chain swags between each cabochon bead. Um, this is a stretch bracelet project featuring those Baroque cabochon beads and some fire polished beads. And they also look good with super duo beads. These are those Rosetta cabochon beads with super duos in between for a fun spaced out look. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use cabochon beads in a bead weaving project like the Modern Lace Bracelet. This was designed by Zuzanna Erde and it features cabochon beads at the center along with gem duos and diamond beads, which are both two whole beads, as long as some Toho, as well as some Toho seed beads. So what you're going to need for this project are some cabochon beads in the color of your choice, two whole checkmates, diamond beads, gem duo beads or diamond duo beads, these are two whole beads, um, 15 aught Toho round seed beads, 11 aught round seed beads, and 8 aught round seed beads. You're also going to need 10 5 millimeter jump rings, a clasp of your choice, and some beading thread and a needle. You can use Fireline, Toho 1G, KO thread, whatever beading thread you prefer to work with. And I'm going to be working with a size 12 needle. Okay, so to start, you're going to add um, the right hand side of a gem duo. And you want to pay attention to what stringing hole you're adding and just make sure that's the same um, for each step. After your first gem duo, you're going to add the uh, left hand stringing hole of a cabochon bead. Again, you're going to want to pay attention to uh, how you string this bead. You want your dome to be facing up and you want to go through the correct stringing hole. Now we're going through the right hand stringing hole of another gem duo. Again, making sure that bead is facing up. Now we're going to add three of our Checkmates diamond beads. Thank you. 
Then we're gonna add the right stringing hole of another gem duo. So now we've got all of these beads added. We're going to go through that open hole of the cabochon bead. Make sure these don't get tangled. That's gonna kind of loop up these beads here. So we're gonna add the right hand stringing hole of another gem duo. and three more diamond beads. I'm gonna go back through all the beads I've already added. So I'm going through that same gem, that first gem duo, the left-hand side of the cabochon bead, and going back through these beads until I get back to this position. And then I'm gonna tie a knot with the tail of my thread um, to keep everything nice and tidy and secure. So even just going back through those uh, first few beads, you can see I've got my shape started. All right, so I've gone back through the beads to get back to where I was. I've tied a knot with my tail thread. My uh, working thread is coming out between this diamond bead and gem duo. So from here, I'm going to go through that second stringing hole of the gem duo that I'm next to. All right, we're going to add the right hand hole of a cabochon bead. And then we are going to pass our thread through the next gem duo over. Like that. Now we're going to add three diamond beads. And then the left hand hole of a gem duo. If you're not sure what hole to go through, just lay it down by your, your project and then approach the hole with it laying down next to your project and you'll that'll help you kind of line up the beads correctly. So now we're going to pass back through that open hole of the last cabochon bead added. And this is taking shape really nicely. From here, we're gonna add the left hand hole of another gem duo. And three more diamond beads. So you can see we're going to have to loop backwards to get these diamond beads in place. So we're gonna go back through that gem duo in the previous row, and then we're gonna weave through all of the beads to get back to the last gem duo that we just added. So just weave back through all of those beads. And then once you're back to where you started, you're coming out of that first hole of the gem duo, you're gonna jump to the open hole. And we are going to um, repeat doing that. So we will repeat adding cabochon beads and gem duos and diamond beads in that same manner until our bracelet is the desired length. And keep in mind that the clasp, the clasp is going to add, um, 
about an inch or two, so just keep that in mind. Once your cabochon bead section is the desired length, you're going to start adding seed beads in between these diamonds. Now mine covers about half of my wrist. You can go the full length um, for demonstration purposes. I'm going to stop here, but the techniques are the same whether your bracelet is shorter or longer. So your thread is going to be coming out of that last diamond and you are going to add five of the 15 aught round seed beads to your thread. One, two, three, four, five. So this is the smallest size of seed bead that you are working with. And then you're going to pass through the open hole of the next gem duo here. Just like that. And you can see that's the perfect amount of seed beads to go between them. Okay, so now with our thread coming out of that second gem duo, we're going to add another 15 aught bead and then an 8 aught bead and pass through that second hole of the next diamond bead over. Uh, and now for these next, this little section of three diamonds, you're just going to add an 8 aught between each of them, like so. So now you've got eight dot seed beads between these three diamonds. You are going to add a 15 aught seed bead to get to the next section of diamonds. And that's going to that's going to scallop your work really nicely on the ends. You see how those diamonds kind of point toward each other. And then you're just going to repeat that for the length of this side of the bracelet. So add the A dot, add another A dot, and then add that itty bitty 15 aught to get the shape just perfect.
All right, so we've got all of our seed beads between our diamonds in place, and we're gonna finish up this row how we started it. So we're gonna add an a dot and a 50 knot seed bead to go through that second hole of the last gem duo on this side. And then we will repeat that process on the other side of the bracelet. So we're gonna add five of these 15 knot seed beads. We've got three, four, five. And then we're gonna add a 15 knot and an eight knot. and repeat those steps over here. So on this side, when you add your last uh, set of beads between the diamond and gem duo, you're just gonna come through that stringing hole of the gem duo. You're not gonna wanna pass through any more of those uh, seed beads between them because you're gonna add another row of five 15 aught seed beads here and we're gonna add just a little bit more of seed bead embellishment to this design. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll go through that second gem duo over. I can find the stringing hole with my needle. There we go. And then we're going to weave until we get uh, to the stringing hole of the A dot seed bead before this center diamond. So just reinforcing through those beads we've already added until we come to this A dot bead. So now we're going to add a 15 aught seed bead and then an 11 aught seed bead and then a 15 aught. We're going to make a little almost like a little pico edge at the top of our middle diamond here and then we're going to go through that next A dot bead over. See how cute that is? Now um, instead of going through the beads that are already existing again, we're going to pick up a 15 knot, or actually, excuse me, an 11 knot bead. Pick up an 11 knot and go through the next 8 knot bead over. So you're skipping over that next little segment of diamond 15 knot diamond and just skipping through going through that eight dot bead and that's going to cinch up the beads really nicely and get you in place to add the next little pico edge so pick up a 15 knot pick up an 11 knot pick up another 15 knot go through that next eight dot bead over Pick up an 11 knot, go through the next 8 knot bead over. So now you're just going to be going through those 8 knot beads for the length of this side of the bracelet. So now that I've added my last little segment here, I went through that last diamond bead and I didn't add any more beads on this side. I just went through the existing beads until I'm coming out of that last gem duo. And then I'm gonna add 15 odd seed beads above the existing ones and repeat the process on this side of the bracelet. Once you've got both sides done with all your seed beads in place, you'll have this really beautiful bracelet that you can easily use those uh, seed bead ends to attach jump rings and a clasp or a little bit of chain in my case 
uh, to complete the bracelet and you have this just gorgeous look so that is our modern lace bracelet you can find the instructions along with this excellent pdf diagram on our website artbeats.com along with the supplies list uh, for everything you need to make it Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was inspiring and helpful, and I can't wait to see how you use cabochon beads in your jewelry designs. Please leave a like and a comment. Let me know that you are here and that you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions too. We love hearing from you. And as always, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you're the first to know when videos like this are out. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.